<laughs> we're having a party here this evening at uh, Happily Married Monday with the Jollies. We've got not only us, we've got our interns here. Well, some of our interns. Some of them. We got a bunch of interns from Howard University. We have Naya. And we've got Chris. Chris. And they're here where we've got a number of great, young, brilliant interns. Get yourself some college interns to help you. You will learn as much from them as they will learn from So we want to thank uh, everybody at Howard University who have this internship program. We saw a lady at church, and she said, anywhere we can send any interns to your business. And we said, sure. But Please. We, but, we, but we've learned so much from them. They, they say they learn from us about business, but we learn from them about social media. How I didn't even know how to do half the stuff on my phone that they showed me how to do. So we recommend you do that. Well, first, we want to welcome everybody who might be here uh, for the first time or, or returning for Happily Married Monday with the Jolly. I'm Dr. Willa Jolly. And I'm D. Taylor Jolly. And we are the authors of the book, Make Love. Make money. Make it last. Ten secrets to shape a great marriage. And tonight we want to talk about why did you get married? <laughs> and well, why? we're talking about the advantages of marrying the right person. And Let's why? Be very specific. And why it makes sense not only to get married but to stay married. Advantages of marrying the right person. Now, now, where did that come oh, from? Before we go there, before we go there, happy Valentine's Day. Hope y'all had a great Valentine's Day. This is what what the card I gave to my wife. And you left uh, yours upstairs. Yes. Um, and so we have cards, and then we got more stuff and more cookies, candy, and, and flowers. And we had a great Valentine. We hope you did as well. And if you didn't, we want to help you with that. We are having our marriage seminar this Saturday. We want you to register right now and come and be a part of the marriage seminar. It's going to happen here in Washington from 10 till 2, and it's going to be live here in Washington, as well as, for convenience, avail available via a stream for those who want to have the seminar and go through the process in their pajamas with their significant other. Or if you're single and you say, you know what, I just want to prepare for marriage and I want the, the concepts and wisdom that the Jollies have. So go, it's called the Make Love, Make Money, Make Magic seminar and it's this Saturday, the 22nd, you can go to jollymarriage.com slash magic. Sub so register right now. Register right now and get your place for us to be part of so your back life. So from commercial break. Oh, or your life and you put part of our life, okay? Now, let's get to the Advantages of marrying the right person. Okay, advantages. Now, we did a seminar on Saturday with our dear friends, Bishop Alway and his beautiful bride, Pastor T. Way, at Fame Church, Washington, D.C., uh, and it was just phenomenal. And they had lobster. Well, they had, well, we were there for the gala on Friday night, yeah. and lobster, and then Saturday for the seminar where we spoke. And one of the things my wife said, which we thought was, what I thought was very profound, and a lot of other people seem to like it as profound, they said, you hear people say all the time, marriage is work. It takes work to stay married. Which makes you maybe and wonder. And I said, if marriage is such hard work, why do it? Okay. Now, I then responded, it is work, but it's not drudgery. That's the one thing I want you to understand. Marriage takes work. I've got, I've got to work on myself. I've got to work on our relationship. I've got to work on our communication. I've got to work on doing the things we talk about in the book that have worked for us, but it wasn't easy because we're two different people with two different perspectives, two different viewpoints of life. How do we work but together? But I say it wasn't that hard because I married the right person. Thoughtful. Giving. Kind. So I was willing and am willing to work on the relationship 
because I see that it's worth it. That is why I brought up the topic. We need to look at the advantages of being married and not just always talk about, oh my God, it's hard. You know, I, how do I handle this problem? How do I, is there anything good? Oh, you brought out some good stuff on Saturday. It was phenomenal. So I'm really going to let her, because she has all the statistics. Here's what I will say. That in the book, there's a chapter for people who are not yet married on how to choose. I was talking to a lady today who called about having me speak at her event. Mm -hmm. And she said, let me ask you about your book. I've been hearing about your book. Let me ask you about your marriage book. Can it help you find the right person? I said, nah, we can't help you find the right person. But we have a chapter in the book to help you choose the right person. Now, that's the difference. Finding the right person, but to choose the right person. And in choosing the right person, we'll give you some exercises, some tests in the book to help you de determine whether the person is a prospect or a suspect. Mm -hmm. ah! She hollered. She said, oh, my God, I love that. So you need to choose the right person. But remember, the person you marry will be responsible for 90% of your misery and 90% of your joy. So choose well. That's what we tell William. And so my wife said, you know, I want to let people know there are advantages there to being married. There are advantages Ooh, to being, talk about to it, being baby. happily married. Go on, talk Let's about it. Let's just start number one. Let's number start one. with health. Okay. People who are married... Live, live longer. longer. The statistics show yep. that they live longer. Mm -hmm. They say, now, now, why is that? Well, because of emotional support of each other. Mm -hmm. There is evidence and research that says when you are ill and have cancer, the recovery rate is better yep. when you're married. Yep. If you've had major surgery, the recovery rate is faster if you are married, if you are happily married. Now, we're, now you know, people are like, well, I'm married, I don't talk to them, we fight all the time. No, we're, we're not talking about people in that situation. But the advantage of a healthy, I like each other, Oh, let me put a pin together. there for one second, one second, one second. So somebody's saying right now, well, I've been married for 30 years. I'm not happy. I've been married even more. Like we met the lady who's married. I've been married for 45 years, and I've been miserable for 45 years. How do you get happy in your marriage? Well, the one of the main principles is to make a decision. I was that, going to say, you have to decide. Yeah, you got to help, but you got to decide about friendship. That your the marriages that are most successful and happy are happier are people who are best friends. Well, what happens? You married somebody who's not your best friend. You married them because maybe you were you were pregnant, okay, or you needed a green card, or you, uh, you you your friends were getting married. You just got married because it was convenient at that moment. But what we're saying to you is, don't both of you want to be happy? I would think everybody wants. How many people want to be happy in life? How many people want to be happy? Everybody will say, okay, if you want to be happy, wouldn't it make sense that you say, okay, I'm willing to, to talk to my significant other so we both can be happy and we can do that together. And how do we do it? By befriending each other, learning more about each other and doing that work. There we go back to work, not treasury, to be willing to learn more about them, to get in their world a little bit. To get in each other's world. Like I went to yoga. He has been attending yoga. I, I have been so going. pleasantly surprised. <laughs> he can do the frog. He I did, did the, the frog. frog. I, I did. I heard about you crow, the crow, the crow, the crow. The crow. I did the crow by it. myself, the crow position by myself, and got my feet off the ground, and I sustained feet myself. on his no. Ooh, your feet on your elbows. Your, your knees on the your elbows. Knees on your and elbows. you hold yourself up just by your hands. Right. Woo. I did that by myself. I did all these exercises. I'm so proud of him. Because she's into yoga. Yeah. And I said, I'm getting her a world. And she watched the ball game with me. I do. Yeah. I don't understand any of it. But, but just being close to him, providing the snacks and everything, and just having the conversation, just being in the midst and being around. So are you willing to do that with your significant other? That's what we're trying to talk to you about is... As you celebrate this time of love, this month of love, Valentine's time, do you want to have a happier marriage? It takes some work, but why is the work worth it? One, you live longer. 
and you recover quicker. You recover from but there's cancer, couple other things. from uh, the surgery, different kinds of surgeries faster because you, you have that emotional support. Yep. So let's go on to number two. Yeah. Okay, so number two is finances. Mm. The money, honey. Married couples have more financial security than single people, statistically. Yep. For example, by the time of retirement, the average married couple has accumulated about four hundred and ten. It's an average now, about four hundred and ten thousand dollars in assets. Mm. Okay, the single one has only accumulated one hundred and sixty-seven thousand dollars in assets. Mm. And here's the kicker: if it's a divorced couple. You know what You've that means. You've accumulated about $154,000 worth of assets at retirement. Wow. What we have found is that divorce is the biggest killer to wealth creation in America. Divorce. People who work hard and then they divorce and half their money goes out. All that money goes to divorce lawyers. We saw again the movie Marriage Story as we were preparing for one of the shows. So let's watch this movie. And and this was a couple that were together. They worked together. They were performers. He was a director. She was an actor. And they were, were friends. They really were friends, but they fell out of communication. They started drifting apart and making assumptions as to what was important for the other in the relationship. And so she got a position or a job as an actor in California, went out there and when the lady out there on the set said, hey, how's your marriage? She said, well, we, we, we're going to divorce, but we're doing it amicably with no a lawyer. no fault divorce. No fault without a lawyer. She said, you better get your lawyer. I'm going to have my lawyer call you. The lawyer called and talked her into signing up with her. And the next thing you know, she's serving papers on her husband. Then he's got to get a lawyer. And then he had to sit down. They showed the picture. I will never forget this of him writing a check as his first payment, down payment on his divorce, twenty five thousand dollars. That was the down payment. That was a down payment. Mm. Lord have mercy. So, um, the and he was doing that. He really didn't have the money, but he was concerned about losing. Contact with his son. Right. The roadies told us yes. years ago, our friends Jim and Naomi Rhodey, if you if you haven't uh, met them, we, we interviewed them some years ago. Uh, they've been married for over 60 years, and they're multimillionaires, and they talk about how they built this multi-million dollar business starting with nothing. But Jim Rhodey said to me years ago, said, stay married. Stay married. I'm going to give you a wise counsel. Stay married. That is the key to creating generational wealth. One of the keys. Woo! All right, and they have done it. They have a, so last I heard, they were like a $600 million business. So wow. It's way, up, way up there. In the United States, yeah. and in Great Britain, and in, in China. China. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the next thing? All right, baby? so we have benefits of marrying the right person. Health. Yep. Financial. financial. Mm -hmm. Companionship. Yeah. Our species likes to couple yes to share and to care for one another it, it's true you look at the different animals in the animal kingdom they are drawn to coupling up and creating relationship and it's something about that and i i'm telling you we enjoy spending time with each other we have a date every day we have an on but our day. specific date, date night, night is, is thursday night, night. Because everybody can't work and live and travel together. Yeah. And when we started out, Willie traveled. And I was here with the kids and working outside of the home. And so we discovered we needed to have time to actually talk to each other. Right. Well, what went on today? What happened in school? What happened with the kids? Did you land safely? How was the event? And so we decided on Thursday night. Thursday night. Whether he's in town or out of town, it was Thursday night. Every Thursday night. And people come up there all the time and say, well, we can't have a date night because 
We don't have any money to get a sitter. No. Don't need money. You don't need money for a date night. You don't need to get a sitter. In fact, we could not afford a sitter. We had no money. We had two kids and both in Christian school. We had to pay for a house and a mortgage. We had, they had a, no furniture in it. They had no furniture. We were plastic on the windows yeah, because the wind was slipping through. We it. were struggling financially. We had no money to pay for a sitter, but we had a date night every Thursday night. What we would do, we'd go take 99 pennies. We'd save up our little pennies and we'd go to, to the grocery store and get Jiffy Pop popcorn. Some of y'all don't know what that's all about. But for 99 cents, you get this Jiffy Pop. Jiffy Pop popcorn. It was in a little tin container with a handle on it. And you'd put it on the stove, and you'd do like this on the stove, and it pop, 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 And it would pop, and that's how you got popcorn. 99 cents. Sometimes you get a deal. Two for 99. And that was our deal. Every Thursday night, we'd have Jiffy Pop popcorn, maybe some Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid costs five cents a class. All right, you and add the sugar. Add some sugar in it. See, some of our young interns don't know nothing about Kool Aid or Jimmy Pop. You know about it? <laughs> All right. And so, uh, so we do our Jimmy Pop popcorn, and that was our date. And the kids, the door would be open. We'd watch Hill Street Blues or L.A. LA Law. L.A. Law. And the kids could walk by to go to the bathroom, but they knew this was our time. We wanted you to encourage you get a date night. And train and talk, teach your kids. This is mommy and daddy kind. And, and one be more thing. creative. And be with, creative. With the dating. Yeah. And then what one can more you thing. do to date and it doesn't have to cost them? Doesn't cost them a penny. Now, one more thing. You cannot talk about in the date time the kids and the bills. See, kids will take all your time. They'll suck up all your, your energy, all your space, all your breath, all your breathing will be concerned about the kids. But when are them kids going to grow up and move on? They're gonna go to college like y'all in college, all right? Or they're gonna, or they're gonna get a job. And they're not coming back home. Sometimes they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they come back. Some, of, some of my friends they come back with kids and wives <laughs> and husbands. Anyway, but the bottom line is when they leave, when they grow up, you want to have a relationship, and that's that's created over those years where you're not talking about you the want to be careful to maintain the relationship as you raise your children yeah so you want to have time together to maintain the relationship because they will leave you and what's becoming very popular now is what they call the gray divorce mm. so the husband and the wife have spent all of their time pouring into the kids everything is around the soccer practice the baseball the trampoline practice and all this and then oh, we've gotten these kids and they've gone to college and I you? don't know you who are you that's what they say to each other and I'm not sure I even want to be with you anymore mm. and so you're finding that people who are who are over 50 whose kids are gone they're like I don't want to spend the rest of my life with somebody I don't know and I'm not even sure I like them because mm. you fell out of communication but when you were dating you didn't talk about no kids you didn't talk about no bills you talked about each other. That's what you got to do in your date night time. Talk about each other, your dreams, your goals, where you're going, what's going on How in your life. How you can help each, each other. other. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? How you can encourage I love this little other. piece of the card. It says that. Look, I like this. Let me read it. We're two of a kind. One of us think it's too warm. The other may be chilly. One likes a wacky TV show. The other thinks it's silly. One loves the smell of flowers. The other that makes them see, sneeze. When one wants spicy Mexican, the other wants Chinese. That's our story. That's our story. I like Chinese. Mexican. All right. A happy couple's bound to have some differences. It's true. But don't call me the better half because I'll say, nope, that's you. You my better half. And I'm very grateful she says I'm her better half. So we work together because we like being together. So we are hoping you do that. That's one of the secrets of a great marriage, that you learn to like being with each other. You like spending time with each other. You like talking about whatever's going on. And you can learn that. Except, except, except at 4 a.m. in the morning when my wife yeah. likes to have conversations <laughs> with no, me. No, the only reason I can have a conversation at 4 a.m. in the morning <laughs> is because you've turned over and you've said something to me. I might say. I am like waiting. I don't say a word. She's waiting. Oh, she's I'm waiting. waiting until you turn over and you start talking. Then that means I can talk. Uh, all I might say is that you turn off the light or, uh, you know. The, that the, means you're uh, awake. Uh, 
and then she goes in. Oh, and she got to tell everything she's been thinking. She's been up. Last night. She's been up for an hour. Okay, she's been awake for an hour, and it's all percolating. And I said. I'm waiting for an hour for sleep. And then I said, I'm not, this, this, this morning, he said, are, are you awake? I said something. And she said, are you awake? Yes, I, I did ask. You did I ask. said, are you awake? And then I didn't say that, right? Because you were pretending. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were awake. You were pretending. And then she went and I said, I, I can't talk now. I can't talk. I and gotta go back to sleep. Right back to sleep. I was Snow. right back. And I was wide awake and I went to yoga class. All right, so. All right, so we've got <laughs> health benefits. Yep. Financial, financial health benefits. Companionship. Companionship. And it naturally follows sex. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> love talking about that. So just think. You love met, how, I love how T Way and Al Way talk about sex at their seminar. Now they're 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 pastors in their church, and they talk. And they said it, the bed, is marriage up, bed is, is undefiled. undefiled. That's so right. marriage people should be having sex all the time. All the time, they say every day, every day, every way that she says, she said, no, don't miss a day, like an apple a day. Oh, they, what did she say? She said, yeah. don't have lazy sex. Oh, I said, I've never heard that before. Don't have lazy sex. So that means you've got to work out so you'll be ready All right, when so, the moment comes. But that's part of the benefit yes. of being married. That yeah. you enjoy each other in every way. Yeah. And then there's also a safety reason. If you are in a committed relationship because you're married, you can enjoy sex and not have to worry about sexually transmitted diseases. Woo. Nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody this, wants to talk true. about it. And we see that the, the rate of disease in the elder community is going on in nursing, on nursing homes and places. Not in the nursing homes, but senior communities. That's really what. think why is that? Because the, the one man is trying to service everybody. One everyone. male is servicing <laughs> oh. many females. Woo. Is that something? That's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole But nother. that is what is going on. Yep. So a committed married relationship says that you can have sex all the uh, time and not have to worry about your health. Next week, make sure y'all tune in because we're going to be presenting a new piece to our package that we're hoping to get uh, more of. It's a pillow that we were gifted when we spoke at a marriage seminar and it's a one side it says tonight in red and on the other side in black it says not tonight and you pull it up on your bed and it beams the answer to well tonight tonight or not tonight okay so we're going to make that part of our marriage package hopefully if we can get uh, order those but for those who want the marriage package right now you can order our marriage couples package uh, online, you can get a digital. This week, I think it's on sale. This week, about 50% off. 50% off? The yeah. digital version? The digital version. That's both two copies of the book. No, the digital version. Is uh, oh, just a book. The digital yes. book, audio digital, mm -hmm. marriage seminar digital, and, and a workbook, workbook digital. Mm -hmm. And that's half price. Now, if you want the full package, it's $149, and you get two workbooks, two books, one for each of you. The audio book that you play in the car and the seminar on CD, which is outstanding. You can go to jollymarriage.com and order the package as well as the one that's digital on sale. So what else do you get from being married? What are the All other right, so we benefits? Have, uh, better health. Yep. Financial security. Yep. Companionship. Yep. Wonderful sex. <laughs> and building of the family unit. Hmm. Children who come from homes, the research says this, tend to be more more stable. And it, that means they've got to come from stable households, the family unit. With a mom and a dad, tend to have less emotional problems than those who don't. Now, I don't want to get, oh my God, I raised my child by, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that the research says it's hard enough to raise well, we've, de we've dealt with blended family, which is our next book, because so many people come to us and say, we need to talk about blended family. Last Wednesday night, we were at First Baptist Church of Highland Park for their couples marriage seminar event, Wednesday night midweek service. And a lady in the front row said, I want to talk about blended family. 
That's what I want to ask about. But we took the question and answer. Because it's painful. And yeah. I share the story and about loved... having to put the face of my baby boy on on my my stepdaughter so that I could have compassion because I had to grow to that. I had to remember that I was the adult even though I wasn't feeling it. And I had to do the right thing even though I wasn't feeling it. And that it panned out in the end. It panned out great. I mean, she, we all friends, you know. Yes. And uh, she's, she's, she'll mm -hmm. often say, you know, I apologize for mm -hmm. all the hell I gave y'all when I was a teenager. And she has, our daughter is able to very clearly articulate. She's great articulation. The benefits of here's a family unit. And I had great role models. I actually had a mom and I had a dad as a role model and I could see with how difficult it is being a single parent mm -hmm. and she, so she gets to see it from all I angles. love what our intern Chris said today he was talking about his his family and the fact that his mom and dad are divorced did they divorce yes. and then um, and then his mom married a, a gentleman his bonus dad. And he, he calls him his bonus dad and how they have developed such a great relationship. I really love that. And now his biological dad has married a lady with three boys. Uh, yes. All right. So they, he got three boys. He got you and then your, your, your dad, stepdad brought a son. So they have five boys and they're all working together now and they've worked through this blending. And so what we want to say is that they're going to be blended families. There are going to be all sorts of challenges. We hope you'll stay together. But when you don't and you bring this new weaving and cleaving and weaving mm -hmm. and, uh, together. To create a new family culture, unit. You're open to this is going to take some talking, some communication, and some really I dealing think with change. it's important to share your fears. Yeah. When we to talk about what is going on. And it wasn't until years later when our daughter shared, you know, my grandmother said that if I like you or love you, I can't love her and my mom. That's a tremendous burden for so, a child to have to carry. But she worked through it, and we all good, and our time is almost up. We're almost up, so what we got to do is talk about this. Uh, is there another one? Is there a last one on, the, on your no, list? No, that's the top five. All right, all right top five. So let's, let's go back over why it's, it's not drudgery. It takes work, but it's not drudgery. That's what I wanted to start with, that it does take work, but it's worth the work. It's worth the time. It's worth the investment of coming to seminars. It's worth the investment of staying married. It's worth the investment of getting books and resources to invest in your marriage. So you can be healthier? Healthier. You can have more money? Have more money. Great companionship. Yes. Someone who cares about you and, and, and is willing to share with you, even when you don't look good all the time and you're starting to fall, you, your belly gets fat, things start to fall apart. Yep. Somebody who cares about you. Then you can have great sex, Ooh. safe sex. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Help me, somebody. And you, and you build a family unit. And building a family, strong family unit helps you leave. A legacy, yeah, the legacy. A good, positive legacy. And your money don't go to all the divorce lawyers. Mm -hmm. Even though I got divorce lawyer friends, we even got one in the book who, who has been married over 50 years, and he said how important it is to stay married and to share the power. He, that's a great point. Yeah. Look, we got to go. Hope you enjoyed it tonight. Send us your comments. Send us your thoughts. Send us your questions. If you send a question, you, we'd like you to send it by, info, by email to info at willyjolly.com. Hey, I want to know about such and such, or I'm dealing with such and such, or hey, me and my wife need some advice on such and such. Send it to info, I-N-F as in Frank, O at Willy, W-I-L-L-I-E, J-O-L-L-E-Y.com. Remember, the marriage seminar is this Saturday night, this Saturday night, Saturday, Saturday. night, I'm sorry, Saturday, this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. In, in the afternoon, and you can uh, register at jollymarriage.com slash magic, jollymarriage.com slash magic. We want you to come and be a part of it. We want to help marriages like the marriage of the lady who was on her way to the divorce court. She had filed the papers, and she said, I'm done. 
And I said, just go through the book. Just go through the book. Go through the resources that we have for you. I'm telling you, it will help you. Don't make that decision till you go through the book. She did. Six months later, she was in D.C., called us and said, here for our anniversary, and we're doing great. Woo! So we out. Our time is up. Thank you for yours. This is Dr. Willie Jolly. This is D. Taylor Jolly. Jolly, Jolly out. out.